What's up, sons? It's Blindrod with Son of Tech once again, and today I have yet another mining video. I realized I still haven't showed you guys how to actually install a miner, attach it to a wallet, in a mining pool, and actually start mining. So that's what we're going to do today. Stick around. To start things off, let's talk about why we're going to be mining Ubique in particular. It essentially is just a very good starter coin for a couple of reasons. A, it's just a really easy difficulty compared to Ethereum right now. And B, you can mine it on cards with less than 2 gigabytes of VRAM. Currently it's at like 1.05. This means for a lot of you that have old GPUs sitting around or let's say you upgraded recently from something like a... 7850 or some something along those lines where you have two gigabytes of vram you can now go ahead and put those in maybe just a cheap rig that you have laying around to go ahead and start mining and because the difficulty is easier you'll be getting more coins which is just nice to see populating into your wallet and while it could be less of an income overall you could potentially have a boost in price over time and as long as you leave it invested could come out on top now of course I can't say that you in particular will do that but I can say that it is currently a profitable coin one of the more profitable coins currently out right now next to Ethereum of course and Zcash and Monero that being said let's talk about how you want to mine it go ahead and head on over to the Ubeek website, which I'll leave a link in the description below. And once you're there, go ahead and click down on wallets. You have a couple of options. Of course, you could just do the browser plugin, which is the easiest, but it's not very secure. I recommend grabbing Fusion, which is the desktop hardware wallet, and downloading that. The Geth is a little bit more complicated, and I wouldn't recommend it unless you want to get into a more advanced setup. So once you have the application downloaded, run it and get it installed and then you will see a bar on the bottom left that is a loading bar essentially for the blockchain you want this to complete before you start your miners so that when the payoffs come it will go ahead and deposit to that wallet and you'll actually get your cash if you don't do that then it could possibly cause some issues for you receiving your payments from the pool you decided to choose but before you can attach the wallet, you go, need to go ahead and create a wallet. So you can click add wallet. It'll ask for a password, give it a password, and it'll generate you a new wallet. Click on that wallet to find your wallet code, and we will need this in the future, so keep track of it. Alrighty, so once you've got that done, let's go ahead and pick out a miner. We're going to go with Claymore just because of the ease of use for it once again. While you could go with something easy like NiceHash, the issue with that for me in particular is that it doesn't really seem to be that reliable on auto starting after a power failure and I just don't really like it that much uh, on top of the rake that it takes which is a pretty large one on top of everything else that you're already getting raked on which could be pool fees etc. So I avoid it personally and Claymore is going to be a slightly more advanced option but at the same time pretty much plug and play. I'll leave a link to it in the description below and you'll head over to their mega upload section and grab the latest version which will be at the bottom of the list. You're going to want to grab the zip file and then extract it to a folder on your desktop probably if it's going to be a dedicated mining rig or wherever you desire. Once you've done that just make sure you remember where it's at and go ahead and open the files. At the very bottom you'll find a start.bat file. Here's where we're going to get into plugging in everything that we need. So if we're talking about Ubeek in particular you're going to want to go head over and find a pool. I recommend ubeekpool.io. While there is a .com there are quite a few less members. Yeah there are a lot less members on ubeek.com and unfortunately that's going to just make it more difficult for you to start finding coins etc so because of this i recommend using a pool that has more users in it at least while the difficulty is low so once you go over there you'll just want to grab the stratum address and you'll want to plug it in i will leave a link in the description below for a bat or a dot bat example file 
go ahead and grab that replace the server or the server pool I guess <laughs> with the string that you want to go from depending on if you're in the US or the UK and then you're going to want to go over and change your actual wallet address to your own so just copy that from the fusion app that we loaded from the desktop and paste it into there once you've done all that you can just click file and save and you're ready to go at that point just run the .bat file to ensure that everything is running properly if you run into any errors please let me know in the comment section below and i'll try to work through that with you of course i can't always be there for full-time support so check out the reddit threads and any other support threads you can as as much as possible finally if you're actually setting up a mining rig for your first time and you're wanting to be automating this a little bit more please check out my windows 10 settings where we turn off windows updates as well as set the miner to start on power failure thanks for watching as always and i will see you next tuesday